Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, and it's quite interesting based on what's been pushed by major outlets for years now about Eminem's fan base. So you're in for an eye opener if you didn't know already, as in reaction to reports now that Kanye West has equaled Eminem's consecutive number one streak for albums in the United States, many in quotes rap fans on the internet seem to be salty about Eminem rather than appreciate the latest feat by Kanye West. And we'll get to more on this in a bit. We also have more from Missy Elliott, who had to drop a reminder on Twitter after a fan requested for a collaboration between her and Eminem. And as we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with Missy's flex after a user asked, two powerhouses in the rap game, Eminem and Missy Elliott should do a collab, that would be fire. Thoughts crooked? And Missy took the time to respond to this one. I was the first artist to feature Eminem on the record before he put out his first single called Bustle Rhyme, Happy Woman Raises Hand Emoji. And in reaction, Crook states Visionary. And who knows, maybe the initial user forgot that on MMLP, the best selling rap album in the US since sales tracking began, on the song Marshall Mathers, Eminem spoke about this Missy collab, hence the user quoted the lyrics. Oh, he just did some ish with Missy, so now he's too big to do some ish with MC Get Busy. And another user points out the fact that Eminem ran wild with that feature. What's crazy about that track is that you and Timo pretty much let Eminem go crazy with three verses on your own ish. Nobody does that. Wish you guys would have collabed more. But her claim has been disputed by some since Eminem was already active before he got signed and already released Slim Shady LP's singles beforehand, a user states. This is actually not true. Slim Shady LP came out like five months earlier, laughing my bum off, and Eminem had been featured on multiple songs by local Detroit artists since at least 1997. Missy said she featured Eminem before he put out his first single, but perhaps she was going off when they recorded the song and not when it actually released since Bossa Rhyme was on the album The Real World that dropped June 99 a time when four singles from the Slim Shady LP were already out. Just don't give a F October 98, My Name is January 99, Role Model May 99 and Guilty Conscience June 99. So perhaps she's going off the recording date and not release date after he got signed by Dre, I don't know. Moving on to the next topic at hand, Kanye West Donda officially opened with equivalent sales of 309,000 units sold first week below projections of 350,000 which remains impressive since it was released Sunday instead of Friday and with this Kanye West has now equaled Eminem's US record for 10 consecutive number one albums on the Billboard 200 chart and they're sold all over the place and rather than focus on Kanye's latest feat many chose to focus on Eminem with takes like this on the reports who was buying M albums after Encore and this has irony written all over it since in the last decade Eminem actually has the best selling rap album in the US and globally. Recovery according to Nielsen Soundscan was a top selling rap album in the US in the 2010s and global numbers just hit 18 million equivalent albums sold. No other release comes close to this but here we are and another user responds to that, remove encore and albums before and Eminem still outsells Kanye. Now on the XXL's post literally nobody but this happens. Now Eminem fans are gonna come cry about how he's a thousand percent better than Kanye. Literally nobody, but remember, it is Eminem fans that have the bad rap online thanks to mainstream spin. And to that a user responds, as rapping, there's no debate who the better rapper is. And some people claim to feel sad that Eminem stays winning, doesn't get more pathetic than this. It is sad that Eminem's recent albums are even in the top 100, he's gone so far downhill, he's freezing in the ninth circle, JRK shouldn't have been up there either. By this logic, based on reception, throw Donda in there as reviews have generally been average, but the point of this post was solely to put down Eminem and to that a user responds, not only that, but he was also the 6th best selling artist last year, stay sad. <laughs> These days, many Eminem fans even agree with the media spin that the fanbase is the worst, but this is programming at its finest, as the in quotes reverse stands by definition are far worse since they are as invested in Eminem as the fans, but the difference is they go out of their way to focus on someone they dislike. Here's a great example of how pressed these people get at the sight of Eminem, check this out. In reaction to a list of the highest first week sales in the 2020s so far, all these good albums and then there's Eminem, I had no idea people are still buying his music. But Eminem fans are the problem, am I right? And back to the point on Donda's first week numbers, 
Projections for Drake's CLB Right Now shows that E or the label make the right decision to release early since Kanye would have lost this consecutive number one streak for sure. That will be all for now. Share your thoughts below in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.